Kat and I met up with my brother and his beautiful new wife in uh, Bellingham, along with the Rod and Barbara Cook old friends. Boarded the ferry there, loaded up our three campers, and off we went up the Inland Passage. Beautiful view after beautiful view after breathtaking view. Three and a half day trip to Skagway. Kids and folks camping on the deck in, in tents and under whatever cover they could get. That's a lighthouse, Canadian lighthouse on the way, beautiful one. Lots of nice folks to talk to and visit with. Lots of views other than the beautiful views of uh, the activities in, in the Inland Passage. And of course the cocktail lounge got plenty of play. Food was wonderful, a lot of variety. Superb, baron of beef and a ham there. View after view. Of course, water coming in everywhere. Water full of salmon that time of year. The restaurant probably has the best view of any restaurant in the world. An ever-changing view. We stopped at lots of ports. Of course, there's some big, beautiful cruise ships in, in them and a lot of small work boats passing by at all times. View after view after view after stupendous, brilliant, beautiful view. That's the Haynes Lighthouse outside of Haynes. The, view, the boat was really well run, had to pass through some very tight spots, and uh, they were so competent, it was an incredible. Thank God. Float planes being the primary means of transportation between some of those spots because a lot of those towns have no roads. Docking the boat was a feat, and uh, in every port they offloaded and unloaded passengers and freight and vehicles. Off we are again, there's more beautiful views. When we offloaded to Skagway, there was a little stream coming right through town, absolutely full of salmon. That's beautiful downtown Skagway, a great historic town. We caught the White Pass and Yukon Railway for a round trip, trip up to Canada and back because it's such an incredible feat. It's called one of the wonders of the world, this little railway. This is the tame part down low, and it's beautiful even there. But as you climb, it got wild. Very, very tight, very rocky precipices, time one after another. And some incredible views. Breathtaking. I didn't want to lean too far out in some of these spots. On between Skagway and Dawson City, great views. This is Robert Service's cabin. Primary, one of the primary streets, the old bank building where Robert Service was actually a teller at one time. Strange things done in the midnight sun, men who moil for gold. That's Jack London's cabin. We went to a meeting of authors there just for fun. Jack London at one time was the best selling author in the world at the turn of the last century. This is the Yukon River and the ferry crossing. It's a big river, and this top of the world highway going be between Dawson City and Alaska, and the most northerly border crossing in the country. This is Worthington Glacier. You can see we had our coats on. That's people on the edge there. That's Bridal Falls on the way into Valdez, and this is the Valdez Harbor, where lots of salmon were we trying to return to the hatchery. Here's the king of the forest. This is a big boy, he was ripping and tearing at some roadkill along the side of the highway and paid very little attention to us really. I think he knew he could whip anybody there. He's probably 600, 700 pounds, big boy. That's a black bear, looks a little compared to the grizz. Mountain bison along the side of the road, feeding, ignoring us totally. Mountain caribou also, we saw quite a few of those and Rocky Mountain sheep. 
All these pictures were taken from the roadside, pictures of the animals. What a view. A beautiful Jasper Park as you go through the Yukon and into BC. Some of the most beautiful country in the world and mile after mile after mile of it. We ended our trip together at Banff. The rest of them headed back to California and Cat and I to Montana. They had a 25 mile longer trip than we did and we drove 5,000 miles one way. The Banff Hotel is well worth seeing. We didn't stay there. We stayed in the campers, of course, but we did enjoy a drink on the uh, on the patio and the incredible view from the from the hotel patio itself. That's the Banff Hotel. The patio, waiting for a cocktail, and the view from the patio, spectacular. Enjoyed showing it to you.